on it, then I go down, and then I change the location quickly. Because if we dropped anything, we don't want anything to um, to remain. Uh, um, we don't want to scan over and pick it up again, so we move the location of the tip, and everything's back to its original modifications. And that was a quick pulse um, that we that is generally used to uh, fix tips. And uh, you should see some drift here. I guess I moved that far, so. So uh, basically drift is when the tip moves. The tip is moving across the screen, of course, like I said before, but it can continue to move in like one particular direction more so than another and drift off from the location you want it to be in. So um, I, an example of drift is um, concentrate on, on what I'm doing right here. I'm going to move the X very uh, far so there it is, I moved the tip very far away and now what you should focus on is this graph right here so uh, it's moved and it's going to take some time to load okay so as you can see this thing is moving this way as you can see it right it's moving because it's, it's sort of like um, kind of like inertia where your your tip wants to continue to move in that direction it hasn't like it hasn't completely like settled down yet so you get drift in your images and your images look slanted like like that as you can see there's a a slant right here that's from the drift uh, that we observed in this this graph right here it seems to have settled down already which is good so you will get like more straight lines um, from this And as you can see, again, it's a hundred nanometer by a hundred nanometers, and um, yes. and this, looking at these graphs are important because you're looking for a consistency in these these uh, diagrams. So I'm looking uh, I'm looking here, and these are consistent, pretty much. There's there's a bit of a noise, uh, which is very annoying um, because. Uh, on a large scale it looks pretty decent but then when you zoom in you can definitely see a lot of the noise and a lot of noise is apparent and um, you know it's just very very frustrating um, and um, and you have to get rid of it you definitely have to get rid of it uh, so I see um, there's still noise here uh, sometimes um, a technique that Brandon uses a lot is sometimes just let it scan, let it go through its scanning. So as you can see right now, it's getting better and better. And if you let it go through this the scanning process, then it will continue to get better. But then it will reach a peak. And um, so basically, you want to continue to scan it, continue to scan it, and then see if it gets better. If it gets better, then you go on smaller scale. So I have a 100 nanometer by 100 nanometer. I can go to 50 nanometers by 50 nanometers and see if I can see herringbone. You can kind of see it right here. Um, the, you can kind of see ripples, like right, right here, right here. And um, that's the herringbone. And you can see it. You can definitely see in this image above right here. But I had already pulled, so I, I kind of screwed that up. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks comparable to that. Now, scanning graphene, uh, this is a this image that you're seeing right here was a uh, 100 by 100 or so type of um, scan, and you can actually see the peaks in the structure. Um, but what I did was I zoomed in and had a 50 by 50 on this region right here, which uh, we believe is a flatter area. And we'll see how it looks like. That, that's something.